Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. Thank you for joining me today. And in this vlog, I want to introduce you to another pattern by each to stitch that I have just recently tested. So um, this is, I'm not sure how to pronounce this cardigan because the names are always um, based on places around the world. That's how Kenneth chooses them. So let's say this is called Aveiro. <laughs> A very a very raw cardigan. <laughs> so I'll insert some photos here of Kenneth and also some line drawings. There are many many options to choose. Like you get a lot of value in this pattern because you can choose whatever you want. So there's a really long bodice and that's what I chose. And there's a cropped one and there's even a bolero height. Um, same as the, the sleeves. You can choose different lengths of sleeves and also lengths of cuffs. So what I chose was the long bodice with the long sleeves and the long cuff because I really wanted that streamlined long long look that is my preferred. Not that I'm not going to make the other versions, I would have if I would have had the right fabric but I didn't. <laughs> so um, this one comes in sizes double zero to 20 as usual and this will take you from a bust of 31 and an eighth to 46 inches and a hip of 33 and a quarter to 48 inches. Um, if we look at the at the body measurement charts that I'm going to insert here, uh, my measurements are a bit all over the show for this pattern. Um, so yeah, I would have had to make like an 11 bust to like a 13 waist and a 14 hip where you can see the blue circles, that's where my measurements fall. Um, looking at the finished gum measurements, I just chose to make a straight 14 because it's a, this is not a fitted garment. Um, this is as close to a coat that I'm going to get for the winter here. So I, I need to be able to have a bit of space and I didn't want fitted fitted around the bust either. So I decided to make a straight 14 so that would accommodate my hips really well. I didn't want snug hips uh, on my, you know, with the cardi. I don't like that. So that is the size I chose. Now, because there's so many views and options in the pattern, I really like that in the pattern there is a print chart there so that you know exactly what pages you have to print. There's nothing more frustrating than some pattern companies having different views and then there's like 70 pages of a document but they don't specify what you need for each view. That is just the worst. <laughs> But that is not the case here with this pattern. It's really marked what you have to print. You don't have to waste paper and time. So now I'm going to insert a clip talking to you about the fabric. And I'm gonna go back to the past. And this fabric is super special. It's got a meaning. <laughs> As you know, I spent some years in Bolivia and um, I learned many things. My sewing skills expanded, my creativity. Um, just being open minded about where to source fabric, all sorts of possibilities happened to me over there. And one of them was buying fabric on the street markets. Um, I have some vlogs in the, you know, in the past that you can see actually where I used to buy on the street, you know. And on my last fabric uh, shopping trip that I did, I, I think it was like a week before I left Bolivia, I found this fabric. And it's super special, super perfect for the project. So you're going to see that, a um, little bit about the layout and the fit, and then I'll be right back to show you it. I found this um, knit fabric, and it's um, it feels woolly, but it's not. I mean, it's very soft. That's how it looks on the other side. It's medium weight, thin to medium weight, and it's got all this geometric print thing going on. And it's got all the colors I like you know and it's got some gold little flecks in there I'm not sure if you can see that shiny thing but yeah I've got two and a half meters I've measured it that's how much this amount was and um, yeah I'm planning another cardi uh, maybe a, a dress uh, who knows code again would be good and the, the weight of this is really nice and appropriate for the new place I'm going where the winter is pretty mild non-existent but this is enough coverage so I really really like that. Here is my layout I managed to get every single piece in 165 uh, centimeters 1 meter and 65 you can see the tape measure is 150 and then I have a tad more there um, <clears throat> at the top there you can see the cuffs for the sleeve the pockets 
the sleeve that I was able to place um, not in the same direction as the main bodices because my fabric has no nap or direction so I am able to save some fabric by putting the, the sleeve head in between there. So my back piece there is on the fold, my front, my front band, my bottom band, and that tiny little thing there is the neck band that goes at, you know, your neck, like that area there. So I'm super happy because I have 60 centimeters left. I really wanted some left to make a skirt. I'm going to show you some fashion mug shots as I call them because they just grow unedited. Straight size 14. Here you can see uh, it not pinned in the center, just nice and loose like I would usually wear it. Here it's pinned, the feet is really good around the hips. I have plenty of space to put a dress and other stuff underneath. The only issue I have is that the shoulders are a tad wide for me. I had to do an adjustment of about half an inch only to bring it in. So I didn't show you any sewing because it's just too easy. I mean, <laughs> this took less than an hour to sew. It was so easy. What took me a bit longer was I'm picking um, this part here so that I could uh, adjust the shoulder a little bit. And in hindsight, when I make this again, I'm going to make a size 12 all around here and then grade out to a 14 here under the arm side. I think that will be the perfect fit for me. Um, so call this a super, super, super duper wearable muslin. <laughs> and I'm happy I was able to adjust the, the slight um, uh, broad shoulder thing that was happening to me. Very easy to fix. The neckband fits really well. It's got interfacing inside. And you can, um, there were marks there to put buttons all the way down and um, I think Kenneth did that with her test, uh, with her sample, but they were optional and I decided to put two buttons. So just at the, at the chest height, one, two, if I want to like close it up, otherwise it's loose at the bottom, I like that. Um, I didn't have any problems doing the button holes because there was interfacing under there. It's actually the first time I've done a buttonhole on a knit, so all good gains. Um, there's some pockets there that you really can't see because my print is so crazy. Only the long, long bodice has the pockets. The other, the other versions don't uh, have pockets. Um, there's a big, thick band there that makes it super easy to hem that unites with the band here. And then the long sleeves have the extra long cuff. So yeah, super, super nice. I'm gonna just um, show you some pictures now outside. Now don't be fooled, it looks like it's four. I'm just gonna warn you, it's not. The fabric is some sort of uh, wool blend sort of thing. It's very nice and cozy and warm. Uh, it was a horrible black day. The days are like that sometimes now. It, like it's really sunny now, but suddenly it'll just get really awful and it starts raining, but it's still very hot. So I dressed up in like a winter attire with boots. <laughs> so yeah, I was hot. Anyway, this is how it fits. I'm um, doing up those two buttons that I did there. Super flat there, no gaping. The, the sleeve fits perfect now. Uh, so yeah, size 12, that's what I'm doing next. Size 12, grade to 14, and it would be a better fit. Um, super long cuff, look at that. So yeah, I hope you can see that. <laughs> I'm super happy. I mean, this is totally my jam. This fits totally with my aesthetic. Um, I'm going to insert some pictures here. I like this long line layering thing, whether it be chiffon, transparent, sleeveless, long, longer than this even, above the knee. I love wearing something on top and for winter this is as close to a coat that I would need or that I would you know want to make. So this pattern was released today. I find the bolero version super cute. I might make that one as well. 
um, I think it's on sale for a week I'll just put the link down below in the description box it's not an affiliate link it's just an, a, a link to each to stitch and yeah if you if you're wondering why I always love what I make <laughs> there is a reason for that and it's because I'm not that young I am about to turn 40 I have had many many years to discover my style um, I'm at a place now where I really really know what I like and what suits me so when I choose to make a style or a pattern I rarely stray far away from what I really like so whenever you see me make something and show it to you it, it's because I chose it because I really like it and because I know it's something that I'm going to feel good wearing and that is going to suit me, you know? Um, I don't really want to stray out of my comfort zone. Why would I, you know? <laughs> so yeah, uh, maybe someday I'll stray, but it's not something I like enjoy. So yeah, have a look at this pattern. I really like it. Um, super, super nice and I love it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification so you don't miss a sewing tip with me. Bye!